Hello. I just wanted to take a real quick minute to show you um, a new series of rewards that I just created using OBS. It's a lot of fun. I used to do similar rewards on Minicam, um, but Minicam used to crash on my computer. So then that I explored SparkleCam, and then now I've been using OBS, and that allows me to do some of these rewards again um, that I used to like to do. So let me just do a real quick uh, snapshot of some of the rewards. Just real fast here, I have this outer space reward. So I can um, project the student into this box here. And it's like they're on the spaceship and then you can add various, um, you know, clip art into the image here. You can move it around. I even at the end I had, oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I have the student, oh, here it is, um, my little level one student. He Sometimes he brings like guns and lasers and swords to class. So um, it was fun to have him shoot at the alien. So he was like, bow, shoot, 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 and then make it disappear. So that was a lot of fun um, for my little princess lovers. I can project their face into this little princess window here. And I have butterflies that fly around. They can land on top of their head. You can have the student hold out their hand and have the butterfly land on the hand. We practice blowing to make the butterfly bigger and you can shrink, 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 shrink. So it's kind of cool um, to do this. I might do a, like a Harry Potter reward uh, next time. So it basically makes the student kind of magical when you kind of are able to um, capture their image over here and then project it into the, the slide that you're currently working on. So, and then I have my food stand. Okay. So we'll pretend I'm the student here and I have like a whole list. I found all kinds of transparent uh, food images and gifts. So I have a tomato and <laughs> sandwich. Oh, oh, open wide. Ah. <laughs> okay. We have pancakes. It's kind of a neat way of incorporating, like, there's a ton of lessons that have food at the center, the center of the lessons. So it's kind of a fun way um, to use this reward. I'm actually planning on using this reward for all my classes tonight that I teach because it's kind of gender neutral. It, it can work for anyone. And like I said, I have lots of different, I pretty much got all kinds of transparent images. So it's pretty fun. Sorry, my kids are screaming in the background, <laughs> but I just want a really quick look at these fun rewards. So I had the princess window, outer space, and the food stand. Of, of course, it will have the uh, the student's image in it instead of mine. <laughs> so, but it's also uh, cute if you do the green screen. Uh, you can actually project yourself and the student together, where it looks like you're together next to each other, and that's actually a lot of fun. Sometimes I do that too. So anyways, it's kind of a fun, creative idea. Um, you can use the same concept for anything. Like I said, I'm planning maybe some Harry Potter rewards where the student can be like magical and they can, you know, summon some cool creatures. I'm not really sure. I would love to hear your ideas on Harry Potter because I am like one of the only people in the world who have not read the books. So if you have any really good Harry Potter ideas, for a reward, I would love to hear it or any other kind of rewards using the same kind of concept. I would also love to hear about it. So let me know what you think and happy teaching. Goodbye.